Hello YouTube viewers, this is Captain Dave in the Wolf Den, and I'm going to show you something that uh, I really kind of find um, to be fitting me 100% because I am Captain Gadget. I love gadgets. And this little gadget right here is the Daiwa Saku. I guess is how you pronounce it. S-O-K-K-O-U. Saku. And this thing will help you tie a perfect knot every time. From braid to monofilament. And I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you and how it works. And the reason I like it is because there's nothing like trying to do a braid to mono connection out on the boat, in the wind, in the bouncing seas. So, I picked this thing up. There's many, many videos about it, especially uh, in Australia and Europe. For some reason... Nobody's bringing this to the United States real easy. It's extremely expensive for this little tiny tool. Mine somehow came out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Here's the deal. It's just this little tool. It's got a little clip here, lanyard hole, a little black button, and this little black button does this. If you can see that at the very end, at the very end, you push the button and a little tiny hook comes out. Pushing the button and a little tiny hook comes out. Alright, so here's what you do. You take braid. You take mono, which is going to be your leader. We're going to say this is our leader. And it's as simple as doing this. Take the two, put them together. Right? Form a loop. Take your tool. Go in here. Go four times around then leaving this up here like that see how that's twisted up on there then you turn around and you take the hook you stick the hook out you grab your mono and you pull this through the loops right now you can either keep it on there or at this point you can let it go pull your mono leader through pull your braid through give it some wetness tighten it all up and that is now your braid to fluorocarbon to mono to whatever leader done no bouncing around no no BS on the boat trim this close if you've got cutters that are worth a hoot All right then you would trim this close And I mean, dang, that is strong. That is a very, very strong connection. And it's small. 
Whew, that is a strong knot. I've tried to break it with my hands and I can pull on this unbelievably probably 20 pounds of pressure and I can't seem to break it. So that is the Daiwa Saku tool and it is a quick way of making a mono or braid to mono leader. This is actually 65 pound power pro to a 20 pound leader. I've tried it with everything. 65 pound power pro to say 40 pound mono. I can do that too. So let's cut off some here. This is actually 50 pound that Cajun Red stuff. Okay, say this is our leader. I'm going to straighten it out here. Pull on it. Get it kind of straight. Let me move all this out of the way. There's 65 pound Power Pro. There's 50 pound Cajun Red. Everybody calls that Cajun Red Shakespeare, but it's not. It's made by Zebco. Okay, put the two together. Form a loop. Lay these two together. Go in. One, two, three. And on the fourth one, push the button. I'm hoping you can see it. Lay the line in there. All right. Take it. Pull it through. All that is is a way of grabbing the line. All right. So we're going to wet it up. Pull it all together nice and tight. Cut it nice and short. Wicked. Wicked strong, folks. And I mean, I'm the weakling. I can pull on this stuff all day long. And I can't break it. So there you go. Look at that nice little knot. And you just tied that knot with I don't know what kind of breaking strength. With the Daiwa Soko tool to help you out. And you just did that bouncing around on your boat in 30 seconds. So the magic is that this is a little... I mean, you know, the Japanese come up with some of the most unbelievable stuff. This is just for wrapping. And that little hook right there, the little hook is all you use just for grabbing. I'm sure you could do this knot all day long without this tool. But boy, does it come in handy. And on my boat, what I'm going to do is I have a little lanyard here. And I am just going to put it around my neck and tuck it underneath my shirt. And I will be good to go. This is a really good little clip here. Man, it does not want things to pass through it. 
and now I will have this on a little lanyard and uh, I see this even working good for if you have to pick out backlashes you know this will work too so there you go from Captain Gadget to you that is a wonderful wonderful little idea and a knot and I will be using this for a long long time and coming up is the Daiwa Seiko FG knot tire that'll be coming up shortly and I'll be showing you that nice little tool so thanks for watching